if you have made the data engineering projects by following the youtubers like Anish Lamba, Dashit Mama or the Shashank, I totally get it. I was doing the same a year ago, watching their tutorials, watching their projects, picking the Kegel data set, building a clean data pipeline and I was happy. I was able to make the data pipelines. I was confident and I went for the interviews and then this happened. You would be basically looking at a, to process 100 gigabytes of data. So, you, you know, you, you have a thread file, something like a bunch of CSV files, right? Yeah. Uh, they are stored in a HDFS location and uh, uh, you have to uh, load the data, transform it, right? And load it into a bucket format on HDFS as well. Now, uh, what would be the steps? Like, how would you, what exactly would you do when you are writing the code? You know, what steps? would you take and then how would you design the job so uh, it's optimized for performance sure uh, so after getting the rejection in 50 plus interviews i got to know this dummy project won't help me there's a lot of situational question in the interviews and i need real practical uh, experience to answer these questions then this time i thought let's build a real data pipeline and let's solve a real data problem then i got an idea to build a trend delay prediction system where i am predicting the average delay of a trend there i have to scrape the data from the different website there will be a messy data there will be huge volume of data and i have to process this this is solving a real problem for the users at, at the same time i'm able to gain the real practical experience in the data engineering i started scraping real train schedule data from apis it was messy nested JSONs, inconsistent formats and missing values store this in aws s3 I build the data pipelines with the help of Glue and the Airflow. I process the whole data with the help of PySpark. I got the importance of the partitioning in the Spark, retry logic in the Airflow and many more insights about the data modeling and everything. And this time I was ready to give interviews. I was able to crack more than 10 interviews and able to crack good job. The problem with the most YouTube projects are they are using the Kegel data sets which are already clean plus they are small in size. This do not give the real scenario of the data engineering jobs. There is the just opposite what you're gonna do. You're gonna handle the messy data and that is in huge volume. This YouTube project don't teach you how to build end-to-end -end data pipeline with the help of Airflow or scheduling with the help of Glue, step function or any other technologies. But in the data engineering side, you have to do all this thing. My advice is to follow them but just to learn syntax do not follow them to build the projects and you think you are good in data engineering instead pick up real problem and try to solve them it will be difficult for sure but now you have gpt scopalet and every ai tools present it will take some time but you will get the practical insights and you will able to answer the situational best question in the interviews after getting the job then also you will have to handle big data pipelines that time also this practical knowledge will help you in uh, excelling in your job. I will come up with the more videos where I will teach you the real projects. I will give you the real roadmap that you should follow in 2025 and many more. Just follow data with Pranjal and we will learn together.